Hey everybody, it's Marianne at Marianne's Michigan Kitchen, and today I got out of the freezer, well yesterday I got out of the freezer, um, a half of my chuck roast that I froze last spring, and it's one pound. It's, I bought a great big one at Clearwater Meats. This is my beef tallow that I keep in the refrigerator, and it's very hard. I don't know if I'll be able to get anything out of it. That's why keeping beef tallow is nice, but you got to pre-plan your usage. Okay, so I shaved off some. It's just so I can saute this. Hang on a minute, walking in front. Hang on a minute, walking back. It just dawned on me. I have an onion I have to use up. Onion. I'm only going to use half of it. Got a busy week scheduled in front of us, so I kind of want to have all my food ready to go, and I'll just figure out what I'm going to use as the week goes by. But I have all my meats cooked. I got leftover chicken in the, uh, in the refrigerator with some veggies. And I have now had my onions sliced up. Oh, hush up. I usually have this over on my... counter by the refrigerator, but... Mike is... Uh, Did my oven or my thing just go down? Boy, that would just suck if my that would really suck if my the pot went down. I'd have to buy me a new one. Put some salt in there. And I also got out of the freezer rice. I think that rice might be bad. This rice might have freezer burn. So I got both packages out there. I had out there. It's not necessarily for today. I'm thinking beef and noodles, maybe. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to do a better job of showing you what's going on. So I got the onions in here, and I don't really care if this browns up or not. Let's get some more salt on it. Hey, let's do a different salt on this side. This is what cooking is all about. It has nothing to do with following a recipe. It has to do with How's your day going? What do you have on your schedule for the week? Next thing is what do you have prepped in your pantry, your freezer, your refrigerator, especially your refrigerator, it needs to get used up. Like you saw, I might have 
left that rice out in the freezer too long. And um, cooking a piece of meat and then using it. I'm going to probably use this for beef and noodles, beef and rice, um, and I'm not too sure what else because, like I said, I got chicken. I'm going to get some beef bouillon right now. Stick on there. ounces of water in my eight ounce cup of water. It has some beef bouillon, better than beef bouillon, that I really like. I sure don't know what that E3 was on this Instapot. Probably because I had it too hot and I didn't have anything in it. Because it's working fine now. And you saw I unplugged it. And I plugged it into a different socket. So, sometimes you just have to unplug electronic stuff. But it reset itself. So I'm going to put some water in here. Just a little bit, not a whole bunch. Now I'm going to turn that saute off. Put this guy on. Come on. Let's go. Too much steam. There we go. We're locked in. We're going to put meat. And it's still a little frozen on the inside. So I'm going to put. I think I'm going to put 45. So I got 45 minutes on this. Whoops. Drop my phone. It's probably still recording. It is. Well, you know, that's what happens. I'm trying to get better shots. And I move stuff. Might not have been the wisest thing, but hey, that's what happens. I'll probably edit this all out. Okay, so the only thing I've got left to do is um, go start another load of laundry. I got towels hanging out on the dryer today because it's beautiful outside for fall, for a summer day. It's not fall yet. This I'm going to leave out on my counter. And um, oh, I gotta put my tomato away. That's it. Yeah. Okay, we're back. This cooked for 45 minutes. My beef roast, pot, chuck roast, I believe it was. And a bed of onions and some beef bouillon. It's really good. Let me take you and show it to you. Get you guys up there. And we get to bend down here. And that's it. And it's very tender. And it's all ready to go. And... To go with it, we're having penne noodles, pasta noodles, sauteed or fried sweet potatoes, and beef tallow. And because I felt like we needed something green, I got green peas over here frozen that's cooking up. So, 
We're just letting everything cook. The meat's all done. And uh, so it'd be like beef and noodles, fried sweet potato, and peas. And I think that's going to be a pretty good meal today. And left over, I'll have uh, beef, and I got rice in the refrigerator now thawing out, or I can use the rice with chicken tomorrow. So, make some chicken teriyaki um, rice, maybe. That might be pretty good. Interesting. I do. We'll see. I just want to show everybody this. And just so you can see, I've got my Instant Pot there and all my mess. And I still got a big chunk of beef there. All my mess I have to clean up. Yeah. And Mike put a little bit of sour cream on top of our beef and noodles. Mmm. This is going to be so delicious. Pre-cooked rice I got out of the freezer. Part of a roast beef that I cooked earlier this week. Leftover sweet potato, leftover peas, some orange bell pepper, red bell pepper, and some green onions. Mm. One dish meal. Done in under a few minutes. Oh, did I say my homemade teriyaki sauce? Mm-mm. Good eating on the farm. One pot, one skillet dish to a one bowl. Look how beautiful. When you're prepped and you have everything already cooked and ready to go, a few chops later and it's done. Mm, I love frozen rice.